Good evening, everybody. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. It's Monday, and Mondays are awesome because we get to trade in the stock market again. It's another opportunity for us to be able to build our accounts and get back to work, get back into the grind. I mean, I know a lot of us do work the nights, do work the weekends, but I know that Monday is especially a good day because you're able to just get back into the swing of things. You know, my kids go back to school so that I could be able to do some more, um, do videos, do my work. Um, you know, I, I work full time so I can spend time there, you know, learn and contribute to my team and my the company that I work for. And then when I get home, I get to do my trades, read up on the news of what's happening in the market, and I can be able to to offer you guys some value. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rack Grind. And if it's your first time here, my name is Chris Cardona. And I hope that I can be able to provide you as much value as I can today. If you haven't done so, please do support my channel. I'm relatively new here to the YouTube space. Um, if you can, subscribe, hit the likes, hit the notification bell, and comment below if there's anything that you want me to cover, some comments that you have about the things that I am covering. Please, please do let me know in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. All right, well, let's get started. So last Friday, I took a little bit of a, a dive. Like I told you guys, I got into a position on a on a um, oil and gas ETF that um, went down, actually. So on Thursday, I was saying that I was analyzing. I got out of a, a gold a junior exploration gold position, and I said that I was going to buy a, a ETF. And what happened was, I bought the opposite ETF. Instead of buying the the bear ETF, I actually bought the bull ETF, which took a nosedive on Friday, and I wasn't able to recover. So my account was down. If you guys remember, it was like I don't know, like I lost. It was like two sixty or something like that, two sixty five. It was crazy, right? I mean, you can see right here. Um, you can see on the on the on the. Um, on the chart that I have here, it was all the way down. And it popped back this morning, so I was able to um, look at what the the volatility of the market today was, and I set my sell price to about 33. So let me just show you guys what I got, what I got in on this. <clears throat> so last Friday, I got it at 260, right? I bought this particular coin at $32.50. And today I went ahead and sold it at $33. So it's a 50 cent gain per coin. So I made about four bucks. <clears throat> but the amazing thing about that was over the weekend, it actually like dumped down. Like if you look at my trading view account, um, it was down to about 31. Oh no, that's that's actually no, I take that back. That was today. It was down to yeah, 31.30. So it was really, really bad over the weekend, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I mean, I trust the research that I did. I trust the news that I gathered, why I felt that it was a, a right thing to keep. I mean, I, I, I was going to sell it off. It went down to about $31, but it didn't quite make it down there. So that was my stop loss. So I was going to get out, but I, it didn't. So I held on to it over the, over the weekend, and then today... I read some news where, you know, it's it was a good um, thing that I did because the bulls came back. I mean, it's, it's still tapered off a little bit. It traded sideways, but I saw the opportunity. And I when I hit this top part right here, I, I put my sell order at thirty three dollars, actually. And it went down to about thirty three, thirty four. I could have made thirty seven more cents. But hey, you know what? I made that mistake on the Jaina position that I did right over here. And I sold, um, I didn't sell, so I, I I got caught in the in a position and never went up. So I only made like 2%. But the great thing is, um, like I always tell you guys, it's the percentage gains that I'm going for. So let me just go back to the home here. Okay, so as you can see today, I earned 4.71%, right? That's... That's a great, great return on um, for today on that particular trade. So I didn't get in on, in, on any position today because I didn't have time to really go over any any new news. I was busy trading crypto over the weekend. 
Um, it took a lot of positions. Cryptocurrency took a really, really big pump over the weekend, which was, you know, in my experience, it usually goes down during the weekends. So, um, you know, it was it was uh, surprising that um, it actually, um, you know, did did a pump over the weekend. But uh, I'll give you a little bit more updates of that today. Let's so let's let's finish off this Robin Hood uh, stock market update. So I'm looking into getting a position on um, on some gold tomorrow. We'll see. Um, as you can see, this NUGT right here, it's down 5.48 percent. Let's just look at this real quick. <clears throat> Yeah, as you, if you can see, it was all it, it lost almost a dollar fifty a share, and it's currently you know it was it went down to oversold levels down here earlier today when it closed and it, it popped back up afterwards in the aftermarket. But I I think tomorrow I mean it's it's a good opportunity to be able to get in on this maybe when it opens tomorrow. I'm gonna see how how the market um, pre market tomorrow at you know, five or, you know, five thirty to six thirty before the bell rings to see if it's going to be good. But it's definitely, you know, it was definitely oversold um, and it bounced back on this lower, lower uh, VWAP line and um, it was trajecting up again. So that could be an opportunity to hit the swing if, if it goes up to about this this thing again then that could be a good opportunity for for some gains there and i'd be able to day trade that and then sell it before before the end of the the trading day so we'll see how that works tomorrow i'm going to give you guys an update tomorrow on my um my my tuesday video to see if that actually works but like i said you know i, I don't always get into a position i need to make sure that i get some confirmation and see that okay that's that is the trade that i'm willing to do um, if not, I'm going to hold off tomorrow and maybe buy at the end of the market and for a Wednesday sell sell off um, once I once I have more time to research. So that's pretty much it for my um, my stock trading. So let's move to cryptocurrency. Oh, by the way, guys, you know, none, none of the things that I do here are advice. You know, don't follow. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a licensed professional in finance in any way. So please just take it um, as inspiration, as entertainment um and do your own research and only put money that you see in cryptos coins and stocks that you see value in so i hope that you could be able to um you could be able to take that advice so don't take any of my advice um just copying me just take it as an inspiration for you to be able to do your own thing all right guys so let's move on to cryptocurrency So one of the first things that I want to be able to share to you guys before we even got, got started was this video that that I always go to when I feel that I need some some inspiration, right? So Eric Thomas is actually a really good, he's called the preacher guru, right? He's a really, really good motivational speaker and public speaker. And, you know, I just came to realization, you know, this weekend, last week, I, you know, turned a year older again and I reflected on my life and tried to see like do I am I happy where I am today and of course I have a beautiful family I love my kids I love my work I love my I love everything that I, I have about my life but am I the best version of myself if is this all that I can be able to to accomplish in life and do and contribute to society and I and the answer was no so then whenever I, I, I reflect on my life, I reflect on that, I usually go to this video and I watch. So I just want to share this with you guys. It's about three minutes long um, so that you can see and you guys can be inspired because as we do these trading, as we do this opportunity, you don't have to follow me. You could be doing um, any other business. You could be um, doing... Amazon, you could be doing eBay, you could be doing dropship business, you could be doing cryptocurrency, day trading, anything. We're always going to hit the times where we hit a wall and we take a downturn. So this video provides some, some inspiration to put things in perspective so that you can understand that no matter what you do, you just have to keep 
going, right? So I'm gonna share this video with you guys. Just give me one second. All right, now I'm gonna tell you the story. I gotta get out of here. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me. In. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area, the shoulder area. So this old man crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answered the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? Lee, I'm looking for a different word, though, than lip. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found that inspiring. You know, I always ask myself that question. And a lot of people tell me, like, why do you do all of this? Why do you... Why do you put in work? You, 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 you already had a long day at work. Why don't you just relax? Like, what are you going to do with all the money that you can make? Like, money is not the most important thing in life, right? That's, I, I agree. Money is definitely not the most important thing in any of our lives. And it shouldn't be. Our families, you know, our lives, ourselves should be very important to us. The people that we love. The contribution that we have to society. But we can't do any of that if we don't have money. That's the that's the reality. Right, guys? That is the reality. So success is part of the grind, part of the rat grind. That's the whole purpose of why we are grinding. A lot of us, you know, we just go in, punch in our clocks without any rhyme or reason. We don't really see <coughs> we don't really see an end goal in mind. So for me, you know, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys because we all go through tough times. Like, you know, just me in when I got into this trading and cryptocurrency stuff, 
it was a down time, guys. It was a really, really down time. And if I, if I didn't have enough in me that I was going to make this work or any opportunity work, think about it, guys. I would have walked away because that was the easiest thing for any of us to do. When the times get tough, it, it's not quitting, but it's like walking away because we've been hurt and we don't want to continue getting hurt. But sometimes you have to almost drown to succeed. And that was the message of that. You know, how much do we want to succeed? If we want to succeed as much as we want to breathe, because if we don't breathe, we die. So if we want success as much as that, then we will definitely succeed. And I just want to inspire that in you guys to know that whatever it is, you don't have to be following me. You could be doing your own thing. But if you believe in your success and you believe the effort that you put into your success, the grind that you put in, you have no reason to not be successful. All right. Well, hope that that was some useful inspiration to you guys and hope you'll be able to take some nuggets from that. So let's move on to the cryptocurrency market. The cryptocurrency market is still um, trading up. The market is still high. The volume is about $31 billion. But like I said, you know, it took a really, really um, pump, big pump over the weekend. So I think what happened today was a lot of people that, you know, took the weekend off. As soon as they saw that their coins were up, they took their profits out. So it, it took a little bit of a dip. So as you can see, <clears throat> on the hour, um, it's about, excuse me, excuse me. It's about 1030 in the evening Pacific time. As you can see, a lot of them are green now. But today, it took a little bit of a beating. Um, but like, if you look some of these coins, even with that dip, 56% Tron, 30%, 73% on um, Eternity. Um, bit shares 26 percent there was a like look at this ontology this pump hard guys i wasn't able to get in on that trade but i did trade some neo i did trade some some eos and i did trade some cardanos which i'm going to show you guys in a little bit so that was um what i did um over the weekend to sort of getting on some of those pumps and sit getting on those trades so that i could be able to make some account gains again like like i always tell you guys if you haven't go to compounddaily.com it's a compound calculator where you can see how you can turn two hundred dollars to forty five thousand dollars with just a consistent one point five to two percent per day right so that's just my goal five percent here two percent there three percent there thousand dollars could be over a million dollars i'm not saying that is what's going to happen but the percentages don't lie if you do it consistently enough after 365 trades, you should be able to make those gains as long as you consistently do it. So that's the whole key here, guys, is, is being consistent in doing this day in and day out. Even when the times are tough, just have to roll with the punches, just go with the flow, just continue doing it. All right. So so you, basically, Bitcoin is hitting some resistance. You guys remember this chart that I that I put together in the previous videos, right? I said that there's some good support levels on on Bitcoin around this level, about 88, um, 8700 level. So it hasn't hit that. It's bouncing off that again. It hasn't touched it, but it's having a hard time breaking through. It it touched this over last week on the 24th. Um, it tried to pump again over the weekend, but it just couldn't reach that. There wasn't enough. Um, there was just enough volume and power to push through. But I think. Um, as long as we can be able to consolidate here, it's still it's not going down. I, I mean, it's, we're still in a we're still in a bull run right here. It broke through that channel though. That's the that's the only bad thing. But I think if it bounces back here and it starts projecting up, that might be enough momentum so people are gonna are gonna want to buy in, right? They're gonna want it's like oh it's it, it it's gonna it's not gonna get lower than this and it's just gonna break through. So that's what we're hoping for. We need to break through this level, guys, so that we can be able to hit, um, you know, monthly highs, basically. So if you look at Ethereum, it's similar. It's I checked it out today. So again, it's also having some resistance in about this 720, 750 
um, range right here because there's a lot of uh, resistance on this particular area. But we still have a lot of support in the 600 area and it doesn't have not even touched it there. And I think it's already bouncing up. So yeah, you can see here that's already bouncing up right here. So we'll continue to see how that plays out for the rest of the week. But as, as long as we don't break down from this, we should be good to go and it should go bounce back up and, you know, continue its climb. It always will have those corrections like you see, you know, when it was when it went up here, it corrected around this range. It goes up, corrected, consolidated, goes up again, corrected, consolidated. Consolidation is just it's just a um, a way for people to agree that this is the price level that it needs to stay at. So as long as we can stay in that level, we should be good to go. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a trade that I was doing before I go on some, to some news, okay? So I did a lot of trades on EOS this weekend. On Binance. <clears throat> so as you can see, um, I checked it and it was trajecting up, right? And it still is. It still is, guys. So it's still um, going up from its all-time low, basically. And it's almost hit past its all-time high. But let me show you the trades that I did. So I started to take a position right here. So I took a position right here. I sold it above here. Took a position here. Sold it above there. Took a position here. Sold it above there. And then I bought on a position. And I'm holding it down. And I bought more here today, actually. So I'm waiting for that to go up. So, but that's exactly the type of the type of positions that I like trade taking because, as you can see, it's it's going up. The trajectory is still going up. It's always going to have those pullbacks, but it's those dips that you want to buy so that when it goes up, then you can just ride that wave and then buy and sell and buy and sell and trade position trade within those um, within those percentage gains. So let me show you guys my my Binance account. So as you can see here, this is um, this is the chart. Let me just show you the trades that I did. So as you can see, like I bought in. Hope you guys can see this but so you guys can see i bought it right here and then i sold it so i mean sometimes just so that you know sometimes your entire order does not get filled right so you layer your orders you buy at this price if it goes under this price you buy again you dollar cost averages so that you can get the best value for for your buy so as it goes down you buy a little bit more right so i bought it at um i bought it at uh yeah, 18441. I bought again an 18509. So I just kept buying and buying as it was going down. And then when it hit to uh, 20,000 Satoshis, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, 19,000 Satoshis, I sold it right here. And then I bought it here again. And then it went to 21. I sold it. And then I did the same thing with, with, um, with Cardano, which is ADA. And I sold some one chain here. Um, Neo, I did the same play, the similar. I bought Neo at 9,400 9, Satoshis, sold it at almost 10,000 Satoshis. So that was a good gain. And just today, um, I bought in another at 2,000 2, Satoshis. I bought 21 EOS. So I'm going to continue to play this as I see the gains and I see some value. And I could trade this for weeks um, if it continued this trend. As long as the trend is going up, I will continue to play this market. So that's basically the gains that I did for for my cryptos this weekend. And I, I did some trades today. I was pretty busy at work today. So I don't really have time to even my lunch break. I actually forgot to eat lunch today. My wife just texted me. It's like, oh, how was, how was your food? I was like, oh, sorry. I, I hadn't even eaten eating lunch and it was almost three i was just so packed at work um and that was one of the reasons why i wasn't able to buy any any stock because usually that's what i do i take my lunch i you know do some trades in between lunch i take about a 30 minute lunch i took some trades buy some positions both on my, the stock market and as well as my crypto and then when i get home i follow up on those positions to see if i can sell them or i just have to buy more if it dips so that's usually the strategy that i do on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis right that's it for the trades that I did. Let me let's get onto some news, guys. So one of the good news that I re was reading today was the Federal Trade Commission. For those of you that are not in the U.S., 
um, the FTC is basically um, they go they govern a lot of um, a lot of our financial trading and um, um, basically the way we commu- the communication basically right um, trade basically any trade not not communication uh, trade the way we trade the Federal Trade Commission usually regulates a lot of that um, of course there's different there's like the CFTC. But the FTC is basically the regulator of a lot of the trades, and they're the ones that are actually putting together a a consumer webinar or seminar in Chicago, I believe. Let me double check. I think it was yeah, it was in Chicago. It's gonna be on June twenty fifth in uh, DePaul University. It's one p.m. local time. So Chicago, for those of you that are not in the United States, Chicago is Central Standard Time. Um. And they're going to actually broadcast this live on FTC's website. So if you can just go to Google FTC, USA FTC, you'll be able to get on there and see some of the things that they're, wanna, they're gonna be talking about. The whole goal of this particular seminar that they're doing for free for us consumers is to basically give you an insight on some of the scams, some of the strategies that the BitConnects of the world. If you're not familiar with BitConnect, Google it. Look for Carlos Matos. His his uh his his singing is just he's just like a meme in our space in the cryptocurrency space. But check him out. BitConnect was a scam. The exit scam they man, they they messed with a lot of people. And they're not the only ones. There's always scams, like I always say on this channel. You have to be prepared and you have to protect yourself from being scammed so this is a great thing that they're doing this because they want to be able to to allow people the opportunity to get some education and knowledge to stay clear out of those scams because the only way that this space is going to mature you know i i had a video where nasdaq was looking to being a cryptocurrency exchange but they will only do that once the market matures for them to see some good regulations that are going to protect the consumer base. So for that to happen, more and more people need to understand what they're getting themselves into. And we need to make the right decisions to not enable the scammers to make money off of us so that it inspires more people to do the same. I mean, the Nigerian scam still goes on today. It's it's mind-blowing that people still fall for that. I talk to people that say like, oh, I'm, a relative that I had was a prince and they were leaving me money. I just have to, um, you know, <clears throat> you know, open an account that'll send me a hundred bucks and then, you know, deposit it into my account. And then all of a sudden I'm going to be, they're going to deposit the rest of my billions of dollars. That's, I'm sorry, guys, that's stupid. If anybody offers that to you, run away or play along. I've done it. The people trying to scam me, telling me that I owe the government money and I play along. I talk to them and (laughs) it's fun when you have free time, when I'm driving home and have nothing else to do, Um, which is, I usually use my my driving as a drive time university or a means for me to be able to conversate with my family and my wife because, you know, I'm driving with them. But if, if you find the time, you know, engage in that conversation. It's quite, it's quite hilarious. But yeah, don't fall for that, right? So another news that I wanted to share with you guys was this is a little bit older news, right? But I, I didn't know about it, and I just, um, you know, I just found out about it. This uh, Tour de Meester, basically, he's um, he's from Texas. He's a, you know, he's a early adopter um, into cryptocurrency. So basically, what he did was, I mean, he posted. Um, News from CoinDesk actually, where they found that um, a, a Chinese um, a Chinese blockchain fund was developed to be able to fund cryptocurrency blockchain technology in China. So what this means is, if you're from the United States, the U.S. I feel needs to catch up, needs to get their act together, or else countries like China, Canada, and other friendly cryptocurrency and blockchain co- countries will be taking over and we will lose out. So I hope, I really, really hope that we do the right thing and support this technology 
and really understand that the future is here. We just have to recognize that it's here, right? So another another interesting news was Venezuela. Um, Venezuela is a is a country in Latin America. If you are not familiar, um, they recently announced that they will do a their own cryptocurrency that is backed by their oil reserves. Venezuela is a top producing oil country. Actually, I mean it's a, it's a communist country. It's really dictatorship and all that stuff, but it's not good. But, you know, they're offering India actually a 30% discount on oil if they would use their petro, their petro coin to pay for that cryptocurrency. So that is a good thing that there are some <coughs> um, governmental uses for this, but I st I'm still, you know, you know, I'm not sure why anybody would really trust that government to to um, invest in their cryptocurrency because it's still centralized cryptocurrency. They can manipulate the price and all that stuff, but it's still news nonetheless um, for them to be able to make some significant moves to be able to convince, try to convince another country to do business with them cryptocurrency based. So another news that I wanted to share with you guys was UNICEF. I mean, UNICEF, we all, you know, we all know what it is. You know, it's, 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 it's a charitable organization. And there's been a lot of critical news about browser mining, right? People are getting hijacked and they don't even know that they're mining cryptocurrency and all that stuff. So UNICEF is actually putting it to a good use. UNICEF Australia actually set up their, a page where, like if you can read here, once, you be, once you're on that page, it says, just by being here, you're helping supply water, food, and vaccine to refugees children in Bangladesh. So they're doing this for UNICEF Australia. So they're taking control of your browser and they mine cryptocurrency and they use that mine cryptocurrency to be able to fund their charitable charitable activities. So that's that's pretty interesting, right? They they found a creative way to be able to take technology and use it to fund their fund their um their their projects. So, you know, if you're interested in that, go to the UNICEF Australia homepage. It's called the Hope page instead of the home page so that's pretty interesting so that's great news another news the last news that i want to share with you guys today was if you're not familiar with it right there's bitcoin and there's bitcoin cash roger ver basically said like you know what i'm going to create a better version of cryptocurrency of bitcoin i'm going to make the blockchain bigger right so that i can accommodate more data I mean, there's Lightning Networks that basically is a layer two on Bitcoin because like I told you guys in the previous videos that the problem with the original cryptocurrencies like blockchain is that there's a limit on the transaction. The, the scalability of it is still is still being worked on, right? So people are have added layers like the Lightning Network so that you could be able to basically process mo millions of transactions and then once you process those millions of transactions, you then process that into the blockchain. So instead of the blockchain, the Bitcoin main blockchain doing majority of the, the validation and, and data gathering, they would use the Lightning Network to basically process all of that. Once it's processed, because it can do millions of transactions, as opposed to you know, Bitcoin being able to do like 10 transactions per second, less than that. But let's just say 10 transactions per second. So in one second, you could be, instead of you transacting just one thing, then you can take a packaged data that has like millions of lines of lines of transaction and then put that into the blockchain. So that's what the Lightning Network is doing. But Bitcoin Cash thought before that, you know what, we were going to fork and then we're going to just make the, 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 the blockchain size bigger. So they own Bitcoin.com. OK, so now there's Bitcoin.org, which is the Bitcoin. So Bitcoin.com is Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin.org is Bitcoin. I know that might be confusing, but that's what it is. So Bitcoin.com is Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin.org is Bitcoin. OK, so a lot of people go to Bitcoin.com because they don't know any better and they read up and all of this stuff. And here's buy Bitcoin Cash. So they say BCH. They click on it, they go buy it. They say, oh my God, it's so cheap. Why is Bitcoin, it's like 
few thousand dollars compared to like tens of thousand dollars for Bitcoin. So there must be like something wrong here. So people are supposedly being tricked into buying Bitcoin cash instead of Bitcoin. So that was that's what the lawsuit is all about. This is on Merkel. There's I mean you Google this thing. There's a lot of people that are um, complaining about this. And so, you know, they're going to actually file a, a lawsuit against Bitcoin.com. So I'm not sure how this all is going to play out, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on the progress and what happens in this particular uh, scenario. But so, you know, we never know what's going to happen. But hopefully it gets resolved. And, you know, I do understand. I, I know... A couple months ago, Overstock.com, it's a huge um, e-commerce player here in the United States. Um, they made a mistake on their code instead of accepting. They're one of the few big, large online retailers, online e-commerce platforms that do accept cryptocurrency. Uh, their founder is a very, very big proponent and supporter of, of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and all that stuff. They take Bitcoin and the, the mistake that they did is actually started accepting Bitcoin cash um, with thinking that it was Bitcoin. So I don't know how that happened. They're, they're tech guy. Hopefully they don't work there anymore <laughs> because they made a big, big fumble. Imagine the, the price difference of Bitcoin. Bitcoin cash is big, guys. Look, so Bitcoin is 9000. Bitcoin cash is in twelve hundred. So you can imagine if you're trying to buy a mattress, for example, you take you're taking Bitcoin cash and you're valuating it as Bitcoin. That's humongous. So that's a huge mistake. So hopefully you know that doesn't happen again, but they they, they certainly learned their lesson. So that's it for today, guys. I sure hope that you found some useful nuggets that you can be able to apply to your rat grind today. Um, if you haven't had the chance, please watch my other previous videos. I do a video every single day, five days a week. I'm going to try to do, I was going to try to do one on the weekends, but that's usually the time that I can be able to catch up on some more work, uh, do research, do coins, and figure out what I'm going to talk about in succeeding videos and in the coming week. So I haven't had the chance to actually do that. I want to break up my channel to to have different topics because there's a lot of content that I want to be able to cover. I'm trying to line up interviews where I'm going to talk to people in the space to talk about blockchain. I want to interview some rag grinders that are doing day trading that could be doing um, e-commerce stores, Shopify, dropship accounts, all that good stuff. So I want to be able to share all those stories with you so I can give you the community. I'm trying to build a community here, rat grind community. So we are all making the most of our escape from the rat race. That is the whole goal that we have for this channel. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I wish you and your family a success filled day.